Good morning. It's another day. Day. No idea what number. Slept pretty good last night. Didn't get bothered. Still no camping violation ticket, so that's a success in my books. Um, it's time to go get a new drive shaft. But check out this view. Mmm. Ah, time to get up. Alright, I'll see you guys in Oregon. Okay, well, we made it to Oregon. Brookings, Oregon. We're gonna go get breakfast, and then hopefully by then, O'Reilly's has my drive shaft. That'd be nice. Alright, we made it to O'Reilly's. We're here. We made it. The truck survived. O'Reilly's, baby. All right, I'm gonna go check, see if they have my drive shaft. And if they do, we're gonna get this started. All right, fresh drive shaft acquired. Yup. It's time to, time to swap her in. Um, what do we need? What do we need? Ugh. Need some tools. Need to... All right, this might be difficult to film. Welcome to the underside of my truck, where we will be removing this drive shaft. Bugger. Bada bing, bada boom. Drive shaft is out. All right, let's go compare this to the new one. So in case you're wondering what failed, it's this little, it's like the pivot ball. Ugh. It's that joint down in there. So none of the U joints actually failed. It's just like the little ball inside. There's like a little ball inside the double carton. A little pivot point in there, and that's what failed. And that's not exactly an easy fix, otherwise I would have just fixed this drive shaft, but it's not that easy, so new drive shaft it is. Okay, just grab some new tubes of grease for the grease gun. Right. Oh yeah, we got grease, baby. Money. Make sure all these mating surfaces are nice and clean. That's pretty good. Oh my god, they're so heavy. They're like literally the most awkward things to carry. Try not to hit it on the ground. Garbage bag.
Well, she's in now we just gotta torque it to spec grease it up and then we'll be back in business back on the road check it out all right well new drive shaft in got the old drive shaft strapped up here Old guy ratcheted up. All the straps. Thoughts? I don't understand any of this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna clean up, hit change, and hit the road. All right, well, unfortunately, the new drive shaft did not fully fix the issue it did fix the drive shaft issues the drive shaft is mint now it's smooth but the failed drive shaft was kind of it was like hiding the fact that there's another issue somewhere I can't figure it out I changed the oil in the rear diff because it so that I could check if there's any chunks in the rear diff or anything and now it's all good rear diffs good so, I don't know, front diff, transfer case, could be something like that. And I'm not about to pull a diff or a transfer case apart in a parking lot. So we're just gonna run it, and fingers crossed we make it home, and it's all good. But it is what it is, old vehicles. Fix it when we get home, I guess. And it's chefing up some meatballs. Pasta and meatballs. So unsatisfying. <laughs> like you're butchering it. It's a blunt knife <laughs> with not very cold cheese. Did I do enough? I'll swap sides. You want more sauce? Alright, well, hey, 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 don't break my door, bud. Alright, well, we made it, we got a campsite. We got a proper campsite tonight. A bougie, paid campsite. With heated showers. With heated showers. Because we are pretty beat, to be honest, after a lot of driving, a lot of early mornings, late nights, and now the stress of truck shenanigans so we got we said fuck it we're not we're not sleeping with some homeless people tonight um so we got a campsite pretty sick looking if to be honest truck looks good in there she doesn't sound very good but you know that's a later issue i guess i don't know and we're gonna have a fire tonight we're allowed to have fires in a pit so yes sir and we can sleep in. I don't know. Good enough. Night. Update. I kind of forgot. I literally just left the camera on the picnic table for the last like four hours. So, didn't get stolen, so that's good. Um, we showered. There's hot showers here, so that's nice. And we've been trying to download a movie, but there's barely any service here. So I've been hotspotting my computer, and it's been downloading for like four hours. So hopefully it works. Alright, we're making dinner. It's that time of the day again. Got a fire going in the background. We're allowed to have fires here because it's an actual campground. That's kind of nice. This is nice. This is, it's kind of nice to be in a bougie campsite. Not be on the hunt for a... Uh, for a site when you're not really allowed to be camping. 
in BC you can straight up just like park anywhere I swear or like there's every road like you can take any just FSR and not get in trouble I think we do it haven't gotten in trouble all right Anna what's on the menu tonight uh, Greek salad Greek pasta salad and Annie's because we love carbs so we're doing Annie's too Yes. Oh. I want Annie. All right. Mmm. The internet is going to think I'm so mean. <laughs> Whenever I'm on the camera, I'm like grumpy or yelling at you. <laughs> I'm not actually like this. I swear. This one. The fire. Oh. It's going to look so good. Greek pasta salad and Annie's for dinner. <laughs> oh, so hot. Mm, so good.